We have a new transfer student. Anissa, please, introduce yourself. Uh, hey, what's up, I'm Anissa. Never Have I Ever, a Netflix original series quickly became a quarantine must-see. Mindy Kaling and Lang Fisher co-created this coming-of-age comedy about a first-generation Indian-American girl growing up in Southern California. Maitreyi Ramakrishnan, who plays Devi Vishwankumar, is 18 years old and will return for a second season. Another teen show gripping the attention of audiences looking to relive or not their long-ago days of angst, puberty, and confusion about the world. And now the cast has returned to work and has welcomed a few new members to the show. So what can we expect from its season 2? Watch the video until the very end to find out. Before we get into it though, thumbs up if you love the show, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for future uploads. The trailer has been released. Last June 18th, Netflix released a new trailer for season 2, and it looks incredible. Season 2 trailer of Never Have I Ever shows Devi, who is played by Rama Krishnan, is attempting to figure out which of her crushes, Ben Gross played by Jaron Lewison, and Paxton Hall Yoshida played by Darren Barnett, she should date before she has to travel to India, or she just might have two boyfriends as she decides. Moreover, Devi's teen life is effectively ruined when a girl she describes as an Indian girl who's prettier and cooler transfers to her high school as she's trying to find out how to handle two hidden relationships. Season 2 is set to resume on July 15, 2021. Never Have I Ever Season 2 will be available on Netflix on July 15, and we're sure you'll be excited as we are. Never Have I Ever was renewed for a second season by Netflix in July 2020. On a staged Zoom call, the cast announced the news, which was then published on the show's social media sites. It's official, people, Kaling said on Instagram. Never Have I Ever Season 2 is in the works, and Louis Lang and I are thankful to our whole cast, crew, and the Netflix team. Kaling has been actively promoting the program on Instagram, and she seemed to be overjoyed that it has been renewed. In April 2020, Kaling said to Newsweek, quote, I felt blessed to be able to do a program about an Indian nerd who's also terribly behaved to portray it because I'm very connected with it, end quote. All of your favorite characters are back. Purna Jagannathan will reprise her role as Nalani, Richa Morjani will still play Kamala, Gerald Lewison will also play Ben, Darren Barnett will again be Paxton, Lee Rodriguez will play Faviola, and Raymond Young will be Eleanor for season 2 of the teen series. In flashbacks, Sinhil Ramamurthy will reprise his role as the internet's favorite father, T.M. Mohan, as revealed by Kaling in an Ellie.com interview. The writer stated, quote, One of the things people were relating to in the first season was that Devi is a pretty flawed character, but she's sympathetic because she's gone through a lot of trauma, like losing a parent at a young age. But she also has a strong personality. She wants to have sex and a lover. Lang and I went into our second season knowing we'd still have memories of her father, based on what people love. People seem to like that interaction, and we'll see if they decide to move to India or not." End quote. There's no news yet on whether a fresh celebrity cameo will top John McEnroe's narration from season 1. The new season's theme is moving on. Never Have I Ever second season, according to showrunner Lang Fisher, is about finding a way forward after the first season's theme of coming to grips with sorrow. He explained, Quote, both Nalani and Devi have pushed it off and had not dealt with their thoughts over Mohan dying. This season it's all about moving on, it's about life after he's gone and how to get back on your feet." End quote. Season 2 of Never Have I Ever will introduce four new characters. In a November 23rd social media video, the series revealed that filming had resumed. Megan Suri will be a student in the second season as announced. Quote, the cast of Never Have I Ever is hard at work on season 2 and would like to welcome Megan Suri, their newest co-star." The official Netflix account tweeted, Suri portrays a new student at Sherman Oaks High, whose confidence and brightness will pose an instant challenge to Devi. Suri is a newbie who has previously starred in series such as Atypical and 13 Reasons Why on Netflix. Quote, I couldn't have imagined being welcomed into a new show and family any better. You're all so lovely, and I wish I could hug you all. This support means the world to me. Thank you, never have I ever. End quote. Suri tweeted immediately after her casting was announced. Further, Tyler Alvarez of American Vandal is another newcomer to the cast. He'll play Malcolm, an adolescent actor who returns to school after getting cast in a Disney Channel show in a recurring role on Never Have I Ever. Alvarez's character is described as a young Hollywood type who went to elementary school with Devi and her buddies, but left when he was cast in a Disney Channel show, according to the source. While maintaining his career, he just returned to Sherman Oaks. 
Another set of actors for Season 2 was unveiled last December. Mr. Kulkarni will be played by Utkarish Ambedkar, who starred in a Mindy project and Brittany Runs a Marathon, who will play, quote, the coolest teacher on staff at Sherman Oaks High, end quote. Kulkarni teaches English and is said to form a friendship with Devi. According to Deadline, P.J. Byrne from The Boys and the Wolf of Wall Street will also appear in the second season. He'll portray Evan, Kamala's Caltech program's chief research assistant, who is said to be threatened by her. In season two, Kamen will fall in love with Nalini. Devi's mother is dating the season, but it's with a competitor dermatologist, Dr. Chris Jackson, played by Kamen, a dermatologist who does things a little differently than Nalini. Quote, a suave and debonair dermatologist who works in Nalini's building. End quote, according to Netflix. Everyone admires his high-end practice and star clients, except Nalini. And while Dr. Jackson courted Nalini, Fisher predicted that Devi would see it as a threat. Quote, it creates a huge rift between Nalini and Devi, because Devi perceives it as a betrayal. End quote. In season two, Devi will continue to work on her anger issues. In the second season, Kayling talked about Devi's path to self-discovery, telling Ellie.com, Quote, Devi's figuring out how not to rage out since that's her problem. End quote. She has a terrible temper, and watching whether she ever has a boyfriend or if she's even capable of being a nice girlfriend to these guys. Matrei Ramakrishnan feels optimistic about Devi's future. The show's leading actress has strong opinions on what her character should do next season, understanding that she has to be more thankful of her family and friends since her friends do a lot for her. Her pals are the ones she sees every day as well as comprehending her mother's point of view. That'll be something a lot of people can connect to, since we'll be able to understand where our parents are coming from, even if they don't always do things the greatest way possible. Then there's the concept of addressing that grief, confronting it, having that struggle, even though it's an uncomfortable thought to consider, but just racing toward it and facing it, dealing with it head on. Then there's number three, which is of course embracing her culture, which is critical in a society where identity is everything. It's all about how you present yourself, it's not just how you present yourself to the world and how others see you, but it's how you accept yourself. And I believe that if Devi completes those three magic steps, she'll be a little more at ease with herself. Is it suitable for children to watch? Devi's desire to lose her virginity, as well as the notion of adolescent sexuality, are both addressed quite honestly in season two. Also, full disclosure, the occasional F-bomb is dropped. This program may not be appropriate for preteens, particularly if you want to watch it without giving your preteens the side eye and moving uncomfortably in your seat. Never have I ever received a 14 plus rating from the nonprofit Common Sense Media, citing alcohol, profanity, and sex discussion as reasons. During the first lockdown last year, the program was a tremendous success, with many of us binge watching the whole first season in a weekend and Twitter exploding with memes and discussions, as it always does. We don't doubt that when the new season is launched, the same thing will happen. We've been waiting eagerly for season two of Never Have I Ever to return, and it's finally here. So what are your thoughts and opinions? Sound off in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the first season of Never Have I Ever, thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for future uploads. Until next time!